what's up back we got another stadium review um by myself today um i got three of the do by myself this is the first one um of ford field down in detroit michigan home of the lions um yeah this is a very nfl football stadium that opened in 2002 um ford field um I've been to one Lions game there uh, seven years ago. They lost to the Bucks 24-21. Um, I also went to many monster truck shows there um, and seen lots of those. So I'm going to talk about those as well, kind of an experience being at the stadium for both football game and for that. Um, so here I go. So I remember not being that great of an experience, actually. I remember just being very crowded. It's very pricey because, you know, it's an NFL and stuff. I remember just being the beer and the food just very pricey, and we didn't really want to get any of that. Um, I do remember the gift shop being very abundant, having a lot of good stuff with it. Um, On-field experience, like being watching the game, I would say I would say it probably was average i'd say I'm, i remember not getting a lot of great views because there were a lot of people in front of us but it wasn't like a necessarily horrible view i would say um because there was a lot of um because it was more you know just a football field I and mean, it didn't get a horrible view but it wasn't the greatest view either i also remember um being very loud and rowdy and stuff and i think that's why we haven't been back to a lions game since um Though I would like to go back um, because they have renovated it since. And I think, you know, being the horn and stuff and everything, that horn after you score a touchdown, that's pretty cool. And, um, you know, the PA announcer, he's pretty cool. I like him. I like some of the new amenities that they've done. It's pretty cool in there. So it's the blue and everything for the Lions and stuff is, is really cool, and I really like that. I've also been down there for lots of uh, monster truck shows, lots of monster truck experiences. Uh, I've been able to go down on the actual field, but it's turned into like a dirt action stuff. Be able to sit on the monster trucks and stuff, and that's and to get pictures. That's pretty cool. Um, and I remember that being a lot more fun, a lot more of a fun experience because the, um, it's more of a fan thing and stuff. But I don't, I don't know if they really do them at Ford Field anymore. I see they're not doing monster truck right now, but I'm wondering if they still do. I don't know, but. I remember being a lot more of a fun fan experience because seven years ago I wasn't really that big of into sports, but I did like watching the monster trucks and stuff. Uh, you can see my monster truck collection video; it's it's in the collection as part of my playlist and stuff. But um, so I remember that being a lot more fun to experience and um, stuff like that. And there's a lot of cool stuff in the concourse. I don't remember really, really much of the concourse. I do remember it was pretty cool. Um, not really that much to do compared to like Cooley Law School Stadium or even Comerica or stuff like that. So um, that's pretty much all I have to really say. But so it's a pretty quick review of um, what it's like to be there. It's not not the greatest experience, but not the worst experience, I'd say. Um, I bet there's worse than NFL stadiums like <coughs> FedEx Field, FedEx Field. <coughs> um, so for my final score, it's actually a pretty quick one, actually. Um, Say six, probably say six out of ten. It's pricey, not that great of an experience, and um, but it's not the worst experience either. Um, especially if you're a diehard Lions fan, um, I think it'd be pretty fun to go. And if you get like a group of people to go with you, there you go, it makes that much more fun. Um, also, I forgot to talk about parking. Parking's it's not that great actually. Um, again, it's located in downtown Detroit, so. They have like a little underground parking garage where we always went we for the monster truck shows and for the Lions game. So you go down there and then you walk up. So it's not the worst thing because we were always parked there since I so I assume parking wasn't that bad. Or it's just that we got there early because there was a lot of other parking um, areas. So I say parking is not too bad um, compared to like Comerica or even Little Caesar Reno, which I'm going to do soon, or some of the other ones. But it's definitely not the best. I mean, parking underground. Traffic was pretty bad. I mean, it's Detroit after a sports sporting event. It's going to be pretty bad. So, yeah. There you go. So, 6 out of 10, guys. Um, there you guys may bump it up to now. I'm not going to bump it up to 7. I'll say I'll keep it at a 6. So, anyway, guys. That's a quick review of Ford Field for you guys. We got a couple more coming up. Just me. And then I got a couple more with just me and Brian. 
um, coming up. And then we're going to be out of stadium reviews to do for a while. We wanted to get all these out for you guys uh, right now. So, till then, guys. See you guys later. Bye.